This week on Tech Talk Tonight, we don't actually get into our tech stories till about midway through. So if you want to jump to that point, that's okay. We really just talked about where the heck we've been for the past month and that and a little bit more, as always, on Tech Talk Tonight. Tonight, episode 92 for Wednesday, July 17th, 2013. Oops, I forgot to watch TTT again. Well, hello there, everybody. Did you miss us? Have, have you been jonesing? My name is Brayden Henze, and I am here. And so is Gavin. Gavin, welcome back to the basement. How are you doing? Uh, wh- 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 Where am I? What is this? This is how a basement. W- how is this? This is a studio basement. Um, I'm just rediscovering Facebook chat <laughs> man this is sweet top, top story of the night folks facebook has a chat feature details at 11 gavin um what what's up with facebook chat is anybody on facebook chat no nah, just worthless people can you tell if they're online or not no you can't actually i think i might have just sent my sister a message instead of a oh my sister works at a company you now you were not listening to me not 30 seconds ago when i said facebook messaging and facebook chat yeah i know one that's the same. confuses it what if i just want to talk to uh people who are on chat oh maybe i can go into advanced settings i doubt it Ooh, i can turn on chat for only some friends that's friends, fun that's cool uh how are you brayden uh you've been uh you've been out gallivanting this is this is our a uh, proud return from our summer vacation. I think we should plan this every summer. Just How long have we been doing this show? Probably like two or three years. We're coming up on our third year anniversary. That's the And we've thing. still got zero watchers. Nobody's watching us Someday whatsoever. the aliens who conquer the Earth are going to look back on an archive of this, and they're going to be like, what the heck was were they doing? Well, that's already happening right now, Gavin. There are actual people that are archiving this for their own amusement. You know, aliens are on my mind. I started watching. Um, this is really embarrassing. Actually, not that. Wait, ancient aliens? No. Oh. Guess what I've been watching. Um, okay, it's to do with aliens, and it's on Netflix. Like the first thing that comes to mind, just because I know that it pops up a bunch of time, is Stargate. Um, no. No. Wait, what is Stargate? It was a movie, and then no. it was a TV series. Wait, is that Star Trek Stargate? No. Are you watching Star Trek? No, Battlestar Galactica. Bears, Beats, and Battlestar Galactica. BSG. Yeah. Awesome. I don't know. Some of my friends uh, really like it, and I they do. always talk about it. So uh, have you seen it? Yes, I've seen it in its entirety. I didn't watch Caprica. Uh, Caprica is like a prequel oh. um, TV series that came after the original. I don't BSG. know. I like to have something on while I'm like doing other shit, so stuff with that out. This will never air. It's fine. Um, so I decided to turn that on, you know, yep. aliens. Okay, so how far are you? I don't know. It's a little risque. Speaking of risque stuff, <laughs> segue into a segue. How uh, far will this rat hole go? Speaking of risque stuff, what's the new Netflix thing that Brian Brushman was talking about? Uh, I did not listen to the show uh, last night. All I saw was the uh, beginning, nice. like, and just their like opening number after I missed the first song. So anything having to do with the NSF? No, 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 no show not last I night. They were talking about it over the weekend. Mm. Oh yeah, the one about the uh, the inmates, the orange suit. It's called something uh, like, wait for it. Orange is the New Black? Orange is the New Black, I think, is what it's called. I got it. I have a co-worker that watches that. Um, And, uh, wait, is that actually it? Let me do a search. Orange. Sure that's a yes, something. that is it. Um, Brian Brushman was ra- raving about it. People were raving about it this past weekend. It's yet another Netflix-only original, I think. I didn't um, know that. But uh, my wife watched the first episode because, you know, we were thinking about watching it together, as couples are wont to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said there's way too many boobs. For you to watch it or her? For her. Hmm. I see. There's probably not enough boobs for me, but. So wait, there is. What's the deal with nudity? Like even in BSG, there's a D. I mean, there's no full. There's no full nudity in BSG. It's pretty, but there's like implied. Yeah, it's and there's like tries side to boob, be sexy or whatever. Uh, I don't know why that's why is that required. All good shows now are like that. 
Why can't we be like the, the 30s? I, okay. It, Only we, long dresses should be allowed on television. <laughs> Arrested Development didn't have boobs. That's true. There is no boob in uh, Arrested Development. But I'm that, not sure if that's entirely. As we've discussed, uh, that is not impressing me. This should be the Netflix whoa, show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so why don't we have a Netflix show? Because you said we suck as hosts. That's well, that's why. true. As we can tell by absolutely no one, not even my wife is in the chat room whoa, or watching. That, okay, that brings me back to, okay, there's too many boobs. Does that imply that there is a certain amount of boob that is okay? I think so. And then my question is, are I we not like reaching that quota on the Tech Talk Tonight <laughs> show? Okay, we need more boob. <laughs> That's why people would we tune in, Gavin. I mean, we've got two boobs here, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've, this is a great show so far, yeah. if you ask me. Um, no, I yeah, I think we should change... So from... What even episode is this? 92? Uh, 92. Uh, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. <laughs> 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 I think starting um, now from 92 to... 184, We're we should just not have text stories. Just bullshit the no, entire time. The there, I, I said it now. Well, so we should review stories before, but not really talk about them, and then actually talk about them in the show. Just Jack, like we were just doing before the show. <laughs> and just talk about TV, because that's what we do. It's true. I saw and a gay TV Michael is more uh, outside now. of Michael's. All right. What's he up to? <laughs> He had a bag of stuff. I assumed, it <laughs> assumed it was food. It probably was. <laughs> Does Gay Michael not eat Michael's food for dinner every night? This is a controversy. Well, dude, if you work in a place, you don't want to eat that food all the time. Like as you would know, I, I would not know. I've never had a crappy food service job. You've never worked in food service? Nope. Dude, I think you have to work in food service at least once just to like gain that amount of respect. For people that handle your food. Yeah, that's what Katie tells me, but uh, I never did that, so suck a toe. Okay. Well, well, okay, but how how do you treat waitresses then? Or waiters, I should say. I, I should not be gender biased. Uh, but respectfully. You did, are, are you a picky eater, would you say, when you go out to eat? No, I've never sent anything back or, nor complained about anything. Okay. I'm too uh, introverted and meek. <laughs> that's <laughs> I'll just, like, and give them a two-cent tip. Do you have a bubble that we do not need to enter? What's the deal about uh, th all these people saying, like, tips are required? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, are you saying you don't tip? <laughs> I would not. I would. Well, wait, what What do they say on SFW? Uh, well, well, a little bit. No, I I, I always tip, but uh, there's a, it seems like there's a pro tipping movement going on on the internet, don't you think? No, there's I like a bajillion articles on like, blah blah tipping is the is a horrible thing, and because what, wait, did you listen to Freakonomics like two weeks ago? No, I don't. I I, it was a rebroadcast. This podcast is kind of crappy. You don't like Freakonomics? Eh, I listened to it. It wasn't as good as the book. Okay, <laughs> I'll take that. But uh, d uh, don't they go into it in the book though? Then too about uh, chapter on tipping. No, they don't. Basically, their their point of view is like they should outlaw tipping, and then yeah, they and might they have grounds for it if it um, because they can prove that it's uh, gender bias and racial biased as far as the way. But people it's also tip. like opposite of what you'd think, right? Like people like uh, waiters or waitresses who give good, like solid service, like not amazing, but not sucky get a okay tip like a pretty standard tip yep but research has shown and there's articles out there that talk about this if like the waitress is uh, uh shall we say easy on the eyes but we've does already not talked about boobs let's just say it but does too. not but does not treat you well like d like ignores you on purpose you'll tip more on average did you know that i think they go into that and i I don't think they talked about that specifically. I don't understand but that. I would never do that. And but race and all those fun things. I do feel like feel compelled to tip like more appropriately when I'm at like a nicer establishment than a crappy establishment. I like to tip more 
like locally, I guess, and the fact that I like uh, hippy hippy tippy a here. little bit. I I, <laughs> I like my tips locally f- sourced. Well, I like to like be seen <laughs> as like a a frequent person to going to certain restaurants and stuff, and I feel like that's a way that I try to. Make no, it that's seem a really like good that, idea. There's one. There was um, I read this article one time saying like you should go have one solid place that you always go to. Yeah. That like you like tip a lot and everybody knows you. Everybody so knows that, your like, name. Yeah, so that like when you have like friends from out of town or whatever, you go there, and, and then you can you f- impress. Yeah. yeah, your friends are like impressed that like you know, but that's. But you like focus all your energy on one place instead of like being nice to like s- ten places, right? So you're saying be nice to the China restaurant and shit to everybody else. China restaurant. You don't like China restaurant? Which one is that? The one on the square. I've been there once when I was a kid. Is it good? Yeah. Do they have a lunch buffet. No. What Dude. kind of Chinese restaurant doesn't have a lunch buffet? Okay, first off. Um, I, I think I could go ahead and say this for both me and Andrea. We're not a fan of the buffet. Unless it's like a pizza buffet at Pizza Hut and it's like That's quick true. and easy. Well, buffets are generally a bad uh, deal unless you eat a lot. Unless you're a fat person. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and I'm trying not to be, so maybe it's a bad thing and I just see it that way. I think I, these headphones just died on me, too. What? All that freaking work of replacing that wire, and um, they're dead. Smashing.com. Smashing. What does that mean? What is, where does he even come from? Smashing? The Smashing guy. Who's that? You don't even know what that is? Smashburger? No. Smashing. Smashing. Is Smashing.com something? I don't think so. Go there right I now. I mean, I'm every single word domain is taken, let's be honest. Clownpenis.fart? Dot fart is not a top level domain as of yet. As of yet, Do you, uh, that was a Saturday Night Live skit, dude. I like am unloading. A long time ago. I am unloading my domains this year. Do you want to know what domains I'm getting rid of? I'm letting sure. lapse. Let's see. This is a new new format of the show. We're not on tech talk tonight. We're not talking about tech, and we're not talking tonight. It's it's late. It's, it's w- it would be more entertaining if we were drunk. I'm Luck- working on it. Luckily, I kind of seem drunk in my normal day-to-day body data tracker have we gone through these i think we have body data tracker.com you talked about this one specifically i think oh yeah this was out when we were at the cabin yep cherish the cabin pound pound cherish the cabin okay so okay that actually brings me to one of my stories and you 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 called me out i posted this on our subreddit so it's like an official story probably the first we're gonna get to what is cover.com genius right what is cover that's what you that's another domain what is cover.com that's weird what is cover? What is cover? I don't know. You tell me. You've clearly never gone to college bars a lot. Because sometimes there's cover. Oh. And bars. But that changes so often. Exactly. The problem is that bars, like, no one knows. It's This is one, this is like an ethereal thing. Like, some, like, if you're at, on a college campus, like, Oh, what's the cams cover tonight? Oh, it's on Tuesdays. It's usually five dollars unless there's there's B- Pam Anderson, and then it's ten dollars. I don't know. Wait, did Pam Anderson actually come to your college town? But there's money to be made if like you can solidly, you just collect all that information, you know, have a bank of people calling bars or something, and like <laughs> publish it out, and that's what is cover dot com. But it's being uh, got gotten rid of. I'll sell it to you for um, uh, a, a squirrel and a piece of licorice. I wish I had a squirrel now, because I'm sure I could rest lips on. Uh, licorice. What was the text story? Blog the actual text story, and this is uh, we're still kind of on topic. What where have we been doing this summer? Why the heck have we been gone so long? And frankly, we've just been lazy a little bit. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Uh, but we also went on. Well, I've gone on two trips now. I think Gavin's gone on two trips, too. But uh, we were on a trip together. Couldn't tell you. Oh, what stays at the cabin stays at the cabin. What? What? Whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes, we've so been to the cabin. We've been to the Brayden and I have been to the cabin and back, if you know what I mean. That's weird. <laughs> Let's not go there. Uh, we went out to Brain's cabin with a few other guys. <laughs> <laughs> and oh we walked around with no shirts on and we got lots of ticks and we uh caught some fish we did catch some fish there's pictures it's not really a cabin as much as a full fl- 
full house. It's made of wood. It has air conditioning. It has air conditioning. Any air conditioned cabin does not receive cabin status, in my opinion. No offense. Okay. I appreciate. I appreciate the cabin. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you would have been. I would, I would, let's. We we should call your grandfather on air right now, and thank him for the usage of his cabin. The he's, he's a texter. We could text him. He does not text. Yeah, he does. Dude, look at this. Do you have a camera? No. Uh, yeah. Do do the one above you. This is like the first time we're probably actually using it for something. Wait. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Wait. Can you read my screen? No, uh, you're gonna have to hold it up pretty high. Here, hand it to me. Okay, while well, Gavin does this. Am I on? <laughs> you're getting close. Up, up, up. Uh, your screen protector is going to mess it up. Yeah, hang on, hang on. i got to focus, focus, focus. Oh, I can't even move that. What the heck's going on? Okay, what does it say? Just Can tell us. It? Just tell us. Can you read it? No. Yeah. And it's backwards, so just tell us what it says. No, you need to. Here, use this cabinet. I can't. <laughs> Give it to me. No. It's right here. Use this cabinet. Okay. Use this cabinet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm reading. I'm reading. Nope. That's your head. That's a big bald head. Okay. We can read it. You home tonight? I'm in Evil right now at Don't a. Don't read that. Oh. Well, what am I supposed to read? You home to N T T three. I sent my father a lead speak text that says the letter U space H zero M three space the number two lowercase n the number one capital T the number three uh -huh. and he just replied question mark question mark question mark question mark so you're saying your dad doesn't speak lead apparently all right is does that anybody still speak lead I, I mean don't know. is, is this approved lead speak you tell me I'm pretty sure it's approved you home tonight yeah. It's Basically, fine. you have to use the three for the E is the key. Yeah. Rob says use iPhone X, iPhone text generator dot com. Does that uh, automatically <laughs> change it to lead speak? No, this is generates a conversation iPhone oh, tool for creating yeah, yeah, yeah. text memes this. like the one around Reddit and Nine Gag. Yeah. Oh, that's genius, man. So, okay, so we could actually use this as a uh, segue as well. You're talking about old school lead speak and stuff, and pretty Segway? much how, it's, Neil Kamen? how it's fallen out of uh, fashion and whatnot. Okay, this is our uh, Riverfront Times, which is a um, free paper around the St. Louis area. RFT. The RFT. And what do we have on the cover, Gavin? We have white hat hackers. Tell us about like what you believe a white hat hacker to be. Um, well, what this paper was probably saying it is is like the like. The computer people who are protecting us from the evil Chinese black hat hackers. They never once uh, mentioned black hats. But they do mention black heads. No. No, they don't. Where the In the ads, they do. Don't worry. What did I do? Oh. I, don't, I folded the paper. It's the Riverfront Times. The, the article does not actually exist. <laughs> it's just to it's get you to open it. It's just all... Um, there it is. I mean, yeah. So what's so the problem with hackers nowadays? Well, so to me, a hacker is like someone like a hacker space, right? Like someone who like creates something cool, yeah, or something unique. I think the word the is like taken on a new meaning. Yeah, but, but it's taken on a new meaning with different people. If you yeah. ask my aunt, who is afraid of Facebook, what who a hacker is. She's literally afraid because of the mainstream media. And that's who this article was written for. Yeah. W and w so what does this article talk about? Like, blah, 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 these people are protecting there you. There was, okay, so recently um, St. Louis had what was called Takedown Con. That we had our own conference. Is it like a... Uh, like, uh, it's essentially DEF CON. Con. DEF CON? Or I, I think they were trying to be like uh, Black Hat Con. Or Black... What was it? The Black well, Hat yeah, Conference well, or whatever? Well, DEF CON is now like not... It has gone mainstream, right? So yeah. that real hackers have to find other places to go. Oh, okay, and this is kind of almost a direct reference to like DEFCON and the fact that they. Okay, so he says, uh, "Are there any government guys in the audience?" Asks Burke as he scans dozens of computer geeks assembled in the conference room at the Ameristar Casino in St. Charles last month. 
and nobody raises their hand or whatever. So it's like the whole spot a fed contest that they have at DEF CON every year. So they just like allude that there's uh, feds in the audience and there weren't actually feds or whatnot. Anyway, this the, no, just were. The, the writing for that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Who wrote? Who wrote the uh, article? Who wrote the what's, article? What's, uh, what's it called? It's called White Hat Hackers. Page sixteen. Is there no byline? No, there isn't. This is like that. Uh, oh. Television channel no, on that's this television show on C-SPAN where the guy reads the paper. That's, well, that's what one. I just did. Jeremy Goldmeyer. Jeremy, Jeremy Goldmeyer, you wrote Gold. a newspaper article that I think I wrote back in high school. M e i e r, or M e y e r. M e i e r, and it, like he even goes to like point out the movie War Games. Like we have to go all the way back to War Games. Do you know the movie War Games? With Matthew Broderick. No. Okay. Uh, this is this guy's only article at the Riverfront Times. <laughs> All right. In 2013. No, yeah. Ever? Ever. Ever. Let's see. Uh, what else can we... F- it's basically, I mean, it. it's the whole, you're never safe. It's so easy to crack into everything. And, like, you know, it's, like... I think people should know that. If they're not practicing good security measures and stuff, you're going to have people trying to get into your stuff. And we already got people that's listening to everything as that that's going on anyway. So what does it matter? Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's really just like it makes a good cover, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to find what else this guy does, but... Because he's probably just like a fly-by-night uh, freelance author that like yeah, sells so. his, right? Like I'm d- I assume Riverfront Time does most mostly that. Uh, let's see. Well, do you, do you see it as like a puff piece to actually like? I think it's just to get readers, and it was interesting, and it happened. I don't think there's anything. They had cool that. cover art, so they did it. Riverfront Times is nothing but they need to get content so they can sell the ads, right? Yeah, I that's what any magazine, true. I guess, is. But some are more blatant about it, like the things that are like for free and like McDonald's entryways, like take one, it's free. Like, wait, are you gonna to say my mom's newspaper here in Highland is just a your mom's newspaper, <laughs> um, Pioneer Times? What's it called? The Pioneer, Pioneer newspaper. Press. Pioneer newspaper. Okay. Why couldn't we come up with a better name? Come on. The Pioneer Newspaper? Is it? Why not the Pioneer Times or the Pioneers Express? It's just the Pioneer, I think. Okay, that's slightly better. But wha- why? Are we pioneers? Highland was. The pioneers settled Highland. Did they? Yeah. I they, don't think they, they did. They pioneered out here. No, <laughs> they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. No. I think they did. I mean, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> That that newspaper is the opposite of that. They, they've got like three ads, and they probably give them away for free. I think they it's do just, give them away for free. And it's also like a retired. My mom does not write that paper. It's a retired person who's just like got too much time on her hands, isn't it? Pretty much. Him, I believe. Well, okay. th- there's like a whole crew of them now. <laughs> now I don't know. They probably start off. Is this work. what Highland is doing with their retirees? Putting them to work, <laughs> making the papers like Dude, get to work. Type I f- faster! I still think that's the podcast that I need <laughs> to do. But my arthritis! <laughs> I want a podcast of the Riverfront Times, because I want to know what's going on in this town, but I don't want to sit and read the paper. I want to listen to it in my car on the way to work when I have like downtime. That's when I want to consume that news. And See, I- this is the other reason why St. Louis needs more podcasts directly for St. Louis, because there's St. Louis is such a driving town. It's yeah, a driving we drive town. a lot. St. Louis drives a lot. Unlike Chicago, where like you're taking public transportation or you're the walking, train. the train. But hardly anyone. I mean, it's moving. Some people are trying to move it the other way, but unfortunately, uh, St. Louis is a very driving town. It's true. Okay, so I'm gonna pull us back to another story. Gavin, do you know what the front page of the internet is? Reddit.com. Yes, it is. Did you know that they are going to have new defaults for what shows up on the front page? It's about time. Um, for like people that are not logged in, uh, people that are non-users and have crew, 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 created, create, created the. Created, Wait, so created how is, is the word? So you're talking about the um the site if you don't log in. 
Well, if you don't log in or if you haven't chosen your own subreddits. Yeah. Basically, like, the all feed. Like, yeah. the... The all feed. Yeah. Um, so what, how does, how does that work right now? I've always wondered this, because it seems like there's way too much atheist posts. Well... I am H.O. Actually, I don't see that on the list. So they just pull from, basically, the top, it's going to be top 22 subreddits, and they're adding GIFs, Explain Like I'm Five, which I'm happy about that one, Earth Porn, which I hate that... They have to put porn in all of those, like, um, names. And there, it's not, okay, w- I'm saying porn, but really it's just pictures of the earth. Yeah, it's not actually like, porn. And I agree with you. That's, that, they've like got that's a marketing That's showing problem. up in my uh, but what, uh, stuff on network. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Slash, or the subreddit for books Top is Top that added. are not NSFW they're talking about yeah. in the chat room. Which is a good point. Very good point. And uh, so, but what if the top cha- top ones change? Well, that's this is like the first time that they're doing it from the way I understand it. Uh, and you will be sad to know that our subreddit, Tech Talk Tonight, was not added. Wait, is Atheist in here? In there? No, I don't see it. Oh, well, that's a big deal. Oh, here it says, I wonder what happened to politics and atheists and why they were removed from the default set. We could give you a canned corporate answer or a diplomatic answer that is carefully crafted for the situation, but since this is Reddit, we're going to try things a bit differently and give you a real answer. They just weren't up to snuff. They just weren't up to snuff. Okay. Now, don't get us wrong. There are still good parts about them. Overall, they just haven't continued to grow and evolve like the other subreddits we've decided to add. So it's a political move on their point. Yeah. Totally. And it's good. There's yeah, no reason good. why they should be forcing a political opinion upon the um, the homepage of the internet. But also, like, who actually goes to the straight up sub Reddit homepage? I don't. I do. When you I run out of things to look at on my own, you don't. Um, yeah. <laughs> because I I like intentionally Wait, didn't. Why are sub- we offline? We're not. Maybe we're not. It's Maybe broadcasting. It's just for me. Um, like I specifically didn't add those subreddits that I was seeing on the front page all the time to my to like mm, favorite it as my own. So I you know I c- I jump back and forth between front and all. That's kind of what I do to see what's going on in the world. That's a good idea. I should uh, follow that um, that algorithm of browsing Reddit. So, so movies, music, news, pics, science, technology, yeah. world news, videos. Today I learned. So instead, I get things like. Well, Ask Reddit, Life Pro Tips, DIY, Battle Stations, Magic the Gathering, and a ton of Minecraft stuff. <laughs> Everyday Carry. Is Minecraft ever going to take off? Do you mean is it ever going to die, I think is what you mean. Maybe. Are you sending me stuff now? What Maybe. are you sending me? What are we looking Whoa, at here? Oh, like five things of yours just beeped. <laughs> Three different, I believe. Okay, so music playback. What am I looking at? Just look at, look at the byline. Jerry Jeremy Goldmeyer. Decemberist setting the stage. From 2006, he wrote for this blog, apparently. That's oh, a, that's the IP, guy. A, a Dude, that's like, what, point four font that you're expecting me to pull out of this entire web page? Playback. But what is this? Playback has to be since 2000. Well, why are they at, like, some shady uh, IP address? I don't know what's up with running that. Out that of is basement? weird. I think he probably is. Probably. Fat cat? What's fat cat? Are you sure that's just not the weird link? Bigfatcat.com. Bigfatcat.net is not uh not b- not online anymore. Okay. May have died. Uh any uh my uh Minecraft on iPhone, have you played it? Yes. Is it good? I don't like it as much, um, just because it's really hard to there's a lot of controls that you need and it's just not as easy to use. I I've kind of got my own little section of Minecraft that I play on now. Um, y- you've heard me talk about Dwarves vs Zombies before, and that that's that's what takes up my Minecraft time. Dwarves vs Zombies games. The multiplayer um, server is called Bruce's Gym dot com. Bruce's Gym. <laughs> and we you know alienated our audience even more. What's Bruce's Gym? Bruce's Gym is the name of the server that I play on, basically. Well, they're talking about Minecraft in the um, chat room. And by they, I mean Rob. Uh, Rob, do you want to play? I can give you Gavin's account. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you bought one for me. He doesn't play. 
Uh, Since we're talking about apps and like things that I only do. Um, oh yeah, what's your uh, apps? Well, I got some. I got some cool apps. Let's talk about apps. What right. apps? Apps, 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 <laughs> apps, apps. Are you sure you didn't have any coffee? Nope. Because I did. Um, zombies, have zombies run Maybe. updated. Okay. Cool. And uh, y- we've got the radio mode back, but th- now they're actually doing like. Are, do you need to upload your stuff to uh, Run Run Keeper? I'll, you only do it every once in a while, right? My zombie runs account connects with Runkeeper now. They what? sync. Really? So I don't have to I run both apps don't at the see same you. time. Let me log in. Um, I think it does. When's the last time you ran? <laughs> it's been too long. Oh well, then maybe that's why. And I've also I've been doing a lot on the um, bike, which I do the um, um, put it in my pocket and it um, measures through the gyroscope, so it doesn't do a distance. Then it counts how many steps I do. Which they just updated stuff for that now. I can like actually put in a distance that I did. Y- you basically type in whatever distance it says on the yeah. machine that you were running on. You can do that in running Run Keeper too. Well, you can now. Do that was one of the updates that they did today for Zombies Run. Oh yeah, Brain Henzy completed 2.64 mile running activity just now. In just Zombies now. Run. Maybe it only uploads when you open it or something. Oh, that could be. That very well could be. <laughs> and well, okay, so zombies now attack your base when you're not there. Oh, you're in trouble. Yeah. I I really think I am in trouble. Like I need to start running more. That's just what it boils down to. And I have not been keeping up with it, Gavin. What the heck's wrong with me? I Well, so one problem that I have with these running apps is um I like to go to pick up soccer games for my athletic activity, okay. which is a lot a lot of running, but it's like you can't track that and it's pretty intense. but You're not playing with your phone on you either, are you? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. it's pretty intense, but I don't know how much I ran. And, like, in RunKeeper, you can put in a manual one. Yeah. But the only options are, like, walking, hiking, cycling, skating, swimming, rowing, wheelchair, other. I so bet there's some way. Y- look out there on the web. There's a search for that somewhere out there. I mean, the fact that the I mean, the solution is to put in other and then just, like, make up something. like. Yeah. Eh, I was I was playing soccer for an hour, so that means like three miles, right? And that's what I did, but uh, I wish it was more specific. But the only way to get more specific is to actually track shit or do a pedometer thing. Like I was gonna do. say that would probably be the next step to do a pedometer. I could just probably just use an l- actual pedometer. I have one. Do you want to use it? I think I have one too. My company did one. Yeah. I can. Or a Fitbit. You or have a your Fitbit. Fitbit. You still wear that? My um. Didn't I get you a free Jawbone one? Jawbone up? Yeah, I got you a free one. You no, owe me they that. They fixed it. Yeah, you if, owe me it. If you want to use it, you can use it. You don't even use it. I haven't been using it because the battery life sucks on it now. Like wh- how much? How much? A day. So you have to charge it every night. Yeah. Well, you should. Uh, you should demand that they send you a new one because the might battery. I have to do that, but uh, I, I don't know. It was supposed to last like ten days. Like that was awesome. Yeah. But now that you have to like charge it every day. Ugh. Yeah. Are you supposed to wear it at night too? Yes, because it tracks your sleeping patterns. Yeah, so that's like a failure, right? Because yes. you would normally charge it at night, but you're yep. supposed to wear it at night. That's what was happening. And that's why I stopped wearing it. My cool app, which was free, I think it might still be free um, for the iOS um, anniversary, is called something like. <laughs> Long Gavin day one. This. Okay, here it goes. Day one. It's a. Uh, What's it called? It day one. It's What's called. It do? It's a journaling application. No. Nah. Which I used to journal more, but now I don't, just because I don't know. But this thing is nice because it um. Pu- it'll push notification every night at nine o'clock or whenever you tell it to, to remind you to write something down, and then you can write something down, and then it will mark your location with your GPS. And you can add a photo to it, to your journal app. And you can tag shit. It's almost like Evernote. Do, do you really want all that info? No, I do. What are you talking about? I don't know. The MSA just has like me flipped upside down for like thinking about everything tech lately. That's true. Which I brings me to the next cool feature, which is it syncs with Dropbox. <laughs> Great. Awesome. So I'm glad. No, but... That's legitimately awesome because it just saves it as text files. Ooh, what was that? Oh, that was me. Oh. Uh, it just saves it as text files in your Dropbox. So if you ever want to stop using them, um, like your files aren't on their servers. They're on Dropbox servers. Okay. 
So, I mean, I guess technically, even if you if you didn't upload to Dropbox, the NSA wouldn't have your shit because it would only be on your iPhone hard drive. Not to say iPhone can't they can't break into your iPhone, but yeah, I mean that's, that's dude, it's more crazy that it would be more crazy for the NSA to break into your iPhone than like say what they're currently doing, which is scanning all phone conversations and emails and collecting them for eternity. That's true. I don't know, man. I like I I don't even want to talk about like the NSA around my phone anymore. That's how paranoid I think I'm getting. Yes. Uh, he says this as he was talking on a live stream on the internet. Whoa, man! Yeah, my cam, my computer keeps locking up on this stream, but uh, these these computers are working fine. So yeah, except for uh, the recording uh, computer was recording just your face for a long time. But you know, how whatever. far do you run during a soccer game? Someone, uh, someone by someone I mean Rob posted in the chat, so that's useful. I I told you it's a Google search away. Your answer was there. Uh, I think we're running out of stuff. This has been a pretty eventful episode. It has been, and I do have one more thing, and Andrew would like be angry at me if I didn't do this for you. I don't like this at all. Do you have cookies? What is this? Is this we a We went stick? on vacation to Florida. Yes. And we came back. With a rain stick? A didgeridoo. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, you just broke it. Now We're doing uh, it this way. Then we can see it in both. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's crazy. Where did you get it from? Uh, just a music store in Destin. Nice. We went looking for an audio cable, which... Uh, well, okay. If really, what I wanted to buy was like a mic preamp so I could run a nice microphone on the little tiny camera that does this shot over here it, it's a tiny camera oops <gasps> now that works okay anyway um this camera I, I we took this one along to film the wedding and stuff and i wanted to put the nice boom mic on it cam two yeah but you need a preamp to do that mm. so i went looking for a preamp couldn't really do that so i had to do my wireless microphones to do sort of that but i needed a different cable which ended us up at the mi music store and I get a ten dollar cable. Andrea finds a new instrument. I don't even remember how much it was, but probably like twenty times that. Probably a good didgeridoo is uh, hard to come by. Would you consider this a good one? Let me feel it. I don't like the like flowers going on right here. What, what's the, what's the deal? With that? I don't know. They're supposed to be like fancy and whatnot. Oh, girly. It, what the, my wife bought it. What do you expect? And then she found out that um, yeah, it's pretty straight. Um, I'm a better player of the didgeridoo than she is. That's embarrassing. So <laughs> it was fun. Play us out, keyboard cat. <laughs> I don't know any songs on it. I don't actually know if you, you just play songs on a didgeridoo, but uh, I can't circular breathe. Can you circular breathe? <sighs> no. No, I can't either, and that's what you have to do when you play the didgeridoo for a long time. But, you know, with practice, someday maybe I will be a didgeridoo master. And you can too, if you watch the Tech Talk Tonight show. <laughs> Shall we call it there, Gavin? Uh, yes, please uh, don't follow us on um, anything because uh, it, this is a bad show. But uh, if you like other shows, follow the, them. I love the reverse psychology because I swear... Uh, Gavin, we didn't even do our sponsor this week. Did you know we had a sponsor? This week, we're brought to you by... Do you know what this is? Yeah, you got that for free from somebody else's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they're not a sponsor. No, they're not. But they're uh, the Tonks Coffee. Uh, don't say their name. I don't care. It's good stuff. Uh, this wasn't free, though. This is like one month's worth. I got one month's worth out of uh, that and then canceled. But, uh, dude, it's strong. Wait, so did you have to pay them any money? Yes. You paid them one month? Yes. So you got free plus one month? Yes. So, like, what I I'm holding here right now is one month's worth. I it's a lot of coffee. Fair. I, like, do I didn't get through the, one. Um, French press? I French press French it? press. I have a slop chop that I cut up the beans with. Man, what was the random subreddit? Oh, the random subreddit of the week? <laughs> do you want to say what it was? 
You did post one. Are you getting no, me one? No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that? Oh, Gavin's lucking out. Uh, go check out r slash, I believe it was NoFap. <laughs> Wait, I thought we weren't doing it. NoFap, everyone. Uh, uh, Rob, go check out NoFap, okay? And <laughs> Gavin can explain it to you later. But there was a there was a newspaper article about it that oh uh, and the it, it crappy, got some crappy website of the week. What was that, Gavin? Douglas Crawford's website. Wait, can I? Lo- uh, I've got this. Uh, Cro- no, Crockford dot com. I don't know who Crockford Douglas Crockford is, but yeah, this is the okay. guy who wrote JavaScript: The Good Parts. He's a great author. He's wow. written uh, some great JavaScript books, but this website sucks. What's up with the uh, um, Chuck Norris in the background here? Oh I'm yeah. sorry it's flashing and stuff. I thought it was going to work okay, but uh, it seems we've got a phase issue. Anyway, <coughs> um, this is uh, this isn't the worst website I've seen before, but uh, it's not great. For an author who supposedly writes about how to oh make quality JavaScript? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is okay. Well, yeah. You should quit right now. Yeah, it's it's flashing, so uh, we won't uh, give you seizures out there at home, folks. So those are all the uh, those are all the stuff in yeah. one second. All in one second, because we gotta fit it all in. Where can they go and find you on the web, Gavin? Because uh, you're an interesting, fella. I like, uh, I'm I not like interesting. Go to uh, Yahoo.com and search for you. Nope. Just Don't search. Go there. Just go to Yahoo. Yep. Are you a fan of Marissa Meyer? Who's that? The CEO of Yahoo now. OMGpop.com. OMGpop. <laughs> they got bought out. Yeah. OMGpop. Well, since I'm not afraid to pimp my Twitter, at the real Braden H. And, uh, Wait, don't go to OMGpop.com. What, what is it? Oh, no, it's just a bunch of games. Yeah, I knew it was games. We have a fly down here now. It joined the podcast. We have one more viewer. Um, I want to thank everybody, Rob, for coming out. Um <laughs> Did Rob change his name to just the chat room? <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I would like to thank the chat room. And that's about it, folks. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this has been Tech Talk Tonight, uh, episode 92. We will catch you next Wednesday. On the ocean blue. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> <laughs>